stood up a little bit and came up with a We decided that, you know, inter, inter, like, inner loop, uh, there were no, there were no good places, you know, to get to meet you some late night. Yeah. Here we are. A good Vietnamese food. We get a good number of uh, Vietnamese followers. We got a good number of uh, uh, all ethnicities, you know. If you're out and about, you know, that's your new course there. Trucks, we have to follow all the same guidelines as a restaurant. The, the, the two best spots in Houston are Liberty Station and Bogart. You know, they like the convenience of a, of a food truck, the freedom of a food truck. Um, and the fact that, you know, so sometimes you just can't get the type of food that, that you can get out of a food truck from a restaurant. Uh, It's a little more strict than other cities. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of uh, restrictions they place on us. Um, we can't go to certain places like downtown. We can't go to the medical center. Uh, well, we are uh, a Korean-Mexican truck. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird, but uh, we serve Korean barbecue, okay. uh, like traditional bulgogi uh, barbecue, which is you know beef, chicken, or pork marinated with Korean marinades. And then we put them inside of tacos, quesadillas, and fries. Secret, but I mean, we really don't have any secrets. I guess our secret is just, uh, like I said, location. We have a great spot. It's not here, but we normally park in the Rice Village. That is just one of the best locations. We, we could, we're blessed to have that location. Uh, there's like seven or eight bars around us, and we're the only truck. And I think another key is obviously good food. You gotta have good quality food. Uh, that's what keeps people coming back. in Houston, Texas. Um, let's see, um, the concept of the truck uh, kind of came from me wanting to do something uh, healthy as well as also serving a few indulgent items. Um, it's a wrap uh, comes from the movies. So um, because of that, I have all my menu items, um, the names of my menu items as movie names. I always had thoughts of um, having my own cafe or a bar or something of that sort. And as I started doing my research, um, I realized in order for me to do that, I would definitely need a partner or an investor. And I really wanted to do it on my own. Um, so that's how I got the idea of the truck. Um, it's definitely more cost efficient, um, easier to do uh, with one person. Really, I think it's it's a great business. It makes it very convenient for the customer and the you know the way we we live in our lives right now is you know we want stuff on the go, we want it quick, um, mm -hmm. and it's great that we're able to provide that. We're, we're able to provide a quality product, something that's gourmet, something that's different. Um, that the customer will love and they're able to access it very quickly and, and grab kind of a grab and go situation. So I really hope that the city and the customers in this uh, customers in the city support us, support the food trucks in general, so that you know we can grow and progress and I think it'll be great for the city.